Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. We get this question a lot from our members that do you have some sort of step-by-step -step roadmap that I need to take to finish my courses or how do I get started from scratch? So if you're taking a full 100% self-paced training in JSS, whether you are a light member or a premium member, you will be following multiple courses or a collection of courses to achieve your goals to become a good technical person or technical professional where you can go get those IT support level jobs like help desk, desktop support, user support technician, IT support, and you can name it, it's all under support. So as you can see, the total we put 114 hours worth of content collectively in all these courses. And we basically say that it will take you two to four months to finish everything, but it really depends on the member itself. So for example, if we suggest everybody that you should not skip this course even if you know the foundational knowledge or skills because there are a lot of things in the beginning of this course that a lot of people don't teach for example talking about the mindset salaries different type of titles how the company looks like what is a business environment and we break things down that a lot of people struggle later on because they jump into technical learning or maybe a specific certification and then they don't know how to use it. So this course is basically the key for any courses in JSS and it's 20 hours so then you can uh, do your own schedule and divide these 20 hours into however you want to learn because it's uh, online and self-based. Now. We do recommend that you go with the premium membership because the, the reason is very simple. Whenever we are teaching courses, we're using premium labs and practice labs. And we like to make sure that we use that because then there's no confusion with our members. If we say that you can do this with home labs, that's a great way if someone can do it. But then there's a lot of issues with home labs. A lot of people don't have RAM and different type of resources are being used. It creates a lot of stress for learners. So this is why we say that if you have... Uh, the investment then you should do the premium level if you don't have that then go with the light membership it is still going to come with a sandbox lab but it's not going to cover every single thing in the lab environment so do know do know that that it's not going to cover uh, a lot that what premium can cover so the first course is fundamental part one then we have part two course um, as you can see we have we're going to always update these two courses because these are our core courses we, we really want people to understand this uh, term core the core when you learn about the core skills then you can go for any career in IT your core is strong then you can go and transition into anything you don't even have to start an IT support job if you know all of these skills pretty good you don't have to do that you can actually go for a more higher level jobs if you uh, have that mindset but we tell people that if you should you should go with some sort of entry level because it makes it easy for you to understand the work environment and you get to work with the cybersecurity people you get to work with network engineer you get to work with uh, you know different type of systems administrators and then you realize that what is that technology or that skill that you really love and this is the the, the area that can kind of give you that type of guidance uh, but again that's not a like in IT anything can happen so my suggestion to you is focus on the first three courses if you want to get the job basically this course all the way till here so if you can finish these three courses you are job ready this is what we tell people that when you start the first course even at the in the first course we will tell you to start applying for jobs and uh, this is uh, we call this like a lucky tries because we know that when you go for companies some companies if they know that you're doing some sort of training and you have a lot of passion some companies have their own way to train you on their own product and they will accept you that's a, that's how it works in IT now that's not a very common thing so don't take my word and that's gonna happen so we tell people to be prepared anyway even if you get that job even if that company gave you the job they're still not going to teach you how courses or platforms are going to teach you uh, in a very long-term way. So you still need to develop your skills. And that's why you need to do these first three courses to make sure you're skillful enough for this job. So you can see it's 35 hours, 12 and 20. And you need to complete this. And then you will feel pretty much confident. And then there are a lot of other things that you can do with it. You can go with our certification packages. That kind of adds more to it. But that's really up to you how you want to enhance it even more. 
Now the last two red ones are just known for everybody. You need to know the soft skills and that's not going to take you a long time. It's very much six hours. And then the hardware skills, depending on the job that you're going to get in this industry, maybe it's a remote so you don't have to worry too much about hardware, but maybe it is a physical job and then you have to deal with a lot of hardware stuff. So then this is why we put all of these courses uh, in uh, in red because that's like needed. You know, you if you want to perform your job, less stressful way then that's needed right there now a lot of time when people get a job and when whether you get a job in the first course the second course the third course it doesn't matter a lot of people in the help desk will spend about six months when they realize that now they are on repetitive tasks this means that they're getting bored if you were trained by platforms like JSS and of course you you will already start getting bored why because we train you to move up in your career we don't train you to stay in this career for a very long time because this is an entry level positions and we like to tell people that the things that you're learning here is not just for you to get a job and help this it's actually for you to build your foundation get a small job get that experience and then move away from this uh, job role and then move up to more advanced positions that that's kind of like more high paying jobs and that's what a lot of people 95 percent of the it professionals are going to have to move up and that's what they want so rather than getting stuck somewhere and then you know make this like 12 or one or two or three year you don't want to do that that's absolutely we don't want that so when we we tell people that you spend six months and you see that you're not gaining any other knowledge and they're giving you the same stuff again and again and you're doing repetitive tasks and you probably have learned more advanced things in these courses then things are not moving well for you you really have to move out of that so you don't just go out of the jobs right so you still need to advance your skills so in jss we created more advanced courses so people can take on level two positions even if you're in the same job role you can go for more higher paying jobs and thus more technical jobs so maybe you they gave you the entry level here but now you have skills from these two courses which is 23 and 10 hours these are specifically about how windows 10 and windows 11 in future how do we manage that in a in a more uh, advanced or corporate level or business level so then this is where, where why they call it modern because all of these technologies are moving to cloud and these systems are being managed by some sort of cloud system these days and you need to learn about those systems so the moment you start learning about those systems your skills become more advanced and then now you're not an entry level position you're not looking for uh, entry level help desk jobs you are moving up so you may find a unique job in the same area but they may be paying a lot more money so that's where you're you're realizing that you're you're now capable of getting more and more advanced now of course in jss we have many labs and many advanced things going on but of course we don't want to confuse our members to give them every single thing this is where when you get to a point where you are even at this level you're working you're working in jss uh you finish all these courses you can directly jump to these courses to learn more advanced skills you may have landed an it job recently and you want to advance your skills so you can do these two courses if you have finished this and you feel like you're kind of above the help desk skills now you want to move away from that then that's where our network junior network administrator program will uh you know comes into play and that's kind of like our transitioning skills for any advanced role whether it's cyber security whether it's network engineering whether it's systems administration uh whether it's going to be cloud in future you're going to need that course because that's the core of networking that's the core of how systems works uh so you need to understand that sort of uh uh you know courses from uh, sorry skills from that course so that's enough talks and i hope that i cleared some of the information for people that how you need to create a roadmap or follow these courses in jss if you want to uh, get access to this image it's going to be provided in the description so you can click on it and you can open the same image that i'm using so you will always have this in front of you to follow along in jss so now let me show you how you're going to uh, open these courses in jss and give you some tips uh, for those courses so let's go ahead and remove all this and let's go to jss portal and open these now as i recommended before that we always recommend our members to go with a premium membership if you're not uh, taking the mentorship programs in a mentorship program you probably wouldn't need to follow this path that I'm showing it's gonna come but it's going to come later on because we're mentoring you on step by step so you don't have to worry too much so now I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you have the, the premium membership you're going to log in 
and then once you log in you're gonna get to the portal like this and this is where you're going to click on my courses when you go to my courses because you are a premium member or light member also have all of our JSS courses access you're going to type part one just like that so when you type part one you're going to see IT support fundamental part one this is what I was talking about the first course in that image you're going to click on start the course and then now you see that you're in the course section so here if you come here don't skip these videos they're very important skills development is not something you can just skip things uh, because this is not about certification this is not about a paper that you need this is about skills that you need to do your job or get better in IT so this is a recommendation that don't skip anything in these modules and when I was explaining that why this course is so important that's what I'm talking about the transitioning or starting an IT career chapter is super important for a lot of new people they get stuck when they go straight into learning uh, a lot of people don't explain this stuff don't know why but this is what we do over here we try to explain everything before people start learning that technical learning so here you're getting all that confidence everything is built up then you get to start with the core learning which is super important for new professionals so you get to finish the core learning it's going to be a little boring by the way because you know this is all theory this is all information that you need to know to understand if you're going to be even doing the lab systems right here they're all connected somehow and if you don't know the basics these labs will not mean too much to you then so if you come down now when we get to the practical uh, learning we have made videos for those labs as well so we make it easy for you our goal in, in JSS is to make a less stressful technical skills uh, learning platform because a lot of people get stressed out when they do even labs so if you click on these videos these are going to be real lab videos and then uh, if you're a premium member then you have all these access that I was talking about that why we uh, push our members towards a premium membership because this is what you get all of these labs right here so you can jump around if you know what you're doing or you can ask mentors to help you to pick your labs but when you're following the courses you don't need to ask anyone you can just follow the courses and here you can see the 220.1002 is the one that is associated with that course. So the recommendation is to uh, follow the videos inside the courses and then come to these labs and perform your f perform the labs and finish it uh, fully uh, if you want to learn these skills correctly. So watch the video here inside the modules. Come over here, module one, click on it and learn from the lecture, then do the videos over here and then come back to the labs. Uh, it's always good to have two monitors or two uh, uh, tabs like this open so then you can do kind of go back and forth so that is the key right here once you finish this course so we're right here the first course when you finish it you're gonna get a lot of confidence uh, with the basics and then you will continue with the fundamentals part two because then it goes a little bit more deeper and then once you finish this third this third course is basically it doesn't have a practice lab we use a sandbox lab so it's like an open custom lab so then we we add our uh, skills that usually is not a part of a common certification type of skills it's kind of like a job skills where you get to learn different type of techniques products tools that a lot of people uh, don't cover in just books type of thing because these are products but it's used in companies every day so uh, and then of course there are things like Active Directory or Office 365 for IT support professionals so it's a little complex learning so this is why the third course is super super important and that's why when you finish these three then that's why we say you're ready for the job and the last two is just because this is kind of common things that everybody needs for this role then you're going to need to finish this as well so simply just like that when you finish the first course then you will move on to the second part two course so let me show you that so right now we are in the first course but even in this course it will tell you when you finish it every course will guide you it's not going to leave you um, uh, you know stranded so if you come over here it says next course to take it's, it basically tells you what where to go but let's say you have that image now you can come back to the the, the search box and you type part two uh, we were looking for part two IT support part fundamentals part two right here and then you start this course just like that so the same following you will watch the videos over here lectures and everything and then when it tells you to what labs that we are using in this it's, you're gonna go back to the practice lab and you will find that lab and then you will follow along uh, the third course doesn't have a practice lab it has a sandbox as I mentioned 
so it may not have guides but that's where we use custom training and you're gonna come all the way down and you can see we have a 2019 sandbox right here that we use for that course and then you will basically start this course it doesn't have any guide you can see right here but this is where you're gonna go to that course and then learn from it so by the end of this whole training you will have a super hands-on skills and you're basically job ready like any uh, thousands of members have done it before you I'm sure you can do it as well we have been doing this for almost 10 years now so we know exactly where things uh, people get stuck so we or people need those sort of skills but if you still need help then call our numbers talk to us directly if you still need uh, more mentorship or somebody to guide you or to give you more resources on top of this then I think mentorship is your solution if this is not working for you thank you so much take care